I'm back. Um, look at this church. Red roses on the way in. Oh, I just heard something there. That's good. Huh? We like the dark. So this here is Cyril versus Bishop Memorial, the vicar. Oh, here we go. In 1960 to 1963. Live long. I know. Hello. Anyone here? Anyone here? Look at these old ones. John Jones, who died July 8th, 1829. Age 74. Actually, it's a good age to die. He's in 1829. Hello, I'm Julia. Is anybody here who'd like to speak to me? Oh wow, look at this. I'll sit under the tree because I'm a bit like that. Who's here? Who's here? Who's here? Anyone here who'd like to speak to me? Oh, and I have. I thought someone was touching me then, but it's not. It's a branch, guys. It's a branch. I was like, whoa. Who's anybody here who'd like to speak to me? A shirt. A shirt. Hmm. All right, I'm going to switch this off and start again. Do not, f do you fear us? No, I don't fear you. I don't fear you at all. It does say, do you fear us? I don't fear you. Why do you want me to fear you? Who, if one of you spoke to me, who do you want, why do you want me to fear you? Why would we be scared? These are some big headstones. Really big headstones, guys. Look at this one. Building. Building. The church. Robert Walker died September 29th, 1864. In Elizabeth. Kendall. To memory of Barbara. Barbara, you were talking to me at the other grave, daughter of George. Are you going to be talking to me now, Barbara? Look at these, child. These are huge, massive headstones. Excuse me, guys, because I haven't really cut anything here. But these are huge. Absolutely huge. Look at this. Who's here? Anybody here who'd like to speak to me? Was it all concentrated ground as they'd always... Oh, my goodness me. This goes on forever, guys. 1920s. 1920s. I've got 1920s. There's noise then, but it could be wildlife. Who's here? Oh my goodness, look at this. This is crazy. Let me show you something. 
Now, it's like a drawbridge. Look at that. But not any weird. It's like water comes under and gets flooded. But look at this. Anyone here? Anybody want to speak to me? They haven't cut or trimmed the grass. How can they leave somebody sitting? And don't remember the ones who's come before us. <laughs> the church. How can they do that? How can they leave you or not cut down? They should trim up here. I can't forget the ones who came before us, the ones who fought the wars. Hey? We need to cut the grass up here. You see how high the grass is, guys? Olivia. Olivia. Who's there? Guys, I've just heard like a chain. A bit strange. Olivia? Is this you I'm talking to? Is one of these graves yours? What I'm pointing to. You can speak, I wish you no harm. Look how high. Guys, I am going to just swap around from the cage to sorry from the necrometer I mean to the other one and see what I can pick up. Let's try different ones. So it's just flashed. So it's just walked past me. The, the wind slightly picked up. Just a bit of a breeze. See what we can pick up. I'm Julia, guys. Does anybody want to come forward and speak to me? I wish you no harm. I wish you no harm at all. Look at this one. Cracked. Paul. William. Anyone here? Anyone who will come forward and speak to me? Look at this church. There's the same Catholic churches that the Quran is consecrated, but all churches should be anyway. Look at it. 
Anyone here? Oh, look at this. This is like the whole family, including the kids. That one. There's some massive headstones from the Victorian era. Green hair. Who's got green hair? Someone's in the... Uh, so somebody's probably over the other side where the grass is long. Look at these. Who's here? Who wants to speak to me? Thomas Lockley. Died 1869, guys. Are you here? Are you? So Richard. This is amazing headstones, that's all I can say. Very amazing headstones. Very big. He made them big so you could still be seen. James. George. Who scares you? We're not here to harm you or scare you in any way. Guys, I just saw someone walk across the graveyard. Hello. That was crazy. I just saw something just walk across. Could be my eyes or imagination, I don't know. But I don't normally see things <laughs> that blunt. They do come out then and again. But that's definitely died in January. 1863 I have just seen somebody in white water cross over there and there's nobody here Jamie's right over there and I'm right over here we won't harm you we won't harm you that's fine thank you did you show yourself did I just glance you is that you? Wow. This is amazing. Look at this one. Now look at these ones, guys. Got to get over here. Because this one is pulling me towards it. Okay. I've got some massive mole holes. Huge holes. Look at the massive mole hole. Right, look at this one. This one has drawn me to it. Is it military? Look at that. Is you in the military, John? It's a shame these are not clear that we can see them. A huge tree. <clears throat> We've got this one. Charles Humphrey. This is one massive graveyard and it goes on, it goes further back but guys I'm not going to go, I'm not just being disrespectful, I like to stick to the old ones because I do like looking at the old graves. I think this one's military, it's a white one. This is the one what I think was talking to me, and it is. And what is your name? S.E. Sergeant, 12th Training Reserve, February 1917, age 29. See guys, it says military, and that's what I've picked up. I think that's what, who I've just seen. He glanced past and walked past me. I'm hiding. You're hiding. There's no need to hide. We're not here to harm you. We wish you no harm. I'm a paranormal investigator. 
and there's no need to hide from me. I'm not here to do you any harm. I wish you no harm. Just respect. This is what I mean, guys. All these grace here have done things better, so it makes life better for us. And I think they should... Obviously, they've started to cut the grass. I'm not saying they won't cut this grass, but they need to cut it and pay respect to the, the ones who've gone before us. So you can hear something here. He'll get you. Who'll get me? Who's after me? I'm on consecrated ground, and I'm with God. And God's with me. I'm scared of the dead, it's the living I'm scared of. And God's always with me where I go. Wow, guys, this place is amazing. Let's get back onto the... shorter grass. Look at these headstones. I suppose that one's military as well. Hello? Anyone here? I think that was Jamie. Somewhere. I think that's military as well up there. That's a big headstone. We've faded out by the weather. A lot of these Faces have. in fog. Faces are in fog. Look at these. Oh, look at these. It's just such an amazing place. And look. Look at this one with a cup. I've spent years here. You spent years here. I suppose we've all got to spend years in the graveyard after we die. Or wherever we lay our bones to rest. And our souls go Edith. to heaven. Edith. Hello Edith, it's Julia. Hope you don't mind speaking to me. Go forward. How far shall I go? There's a head. Is, it, is this your head? Well, what used to be a headstone, Edith? You told me to go forward. Shall I carry on going forward? Excuse Beware. me. Beware. Beware of what? Told me to be aware, guys. It says beware. Look at this one. Who's here? Edith, you still with me? Who was that? It's like Dracula's come out of its grave. That's weird. There's no... It's obviously tuned, but there's no top. It's so strange. Same there, look. I suppose they'll sort it out and tidy it off. That's what they're doing. Because this weather in England does take a toll on these graves, but to know that they're still here is something and the graveyard has been looked after this church it looks really old wow this is amazing absolutely amazing and i think the whole associate. family associate i'm with my parents 
Okay. Is this you? Paul. I can't find anything. That's nice to know that you're with your parents. You over here? There's some small graves here. Big graves and small graves. Is this one of you? I can't really see the writing on it anymore. It's nice to know that you're with your parents. Wow. Do I need to carry on going forward? Harriet! Is it Mary Harriet? Is this your grave? And you said you're with your family. And this is with your parents. Oh my goodness. Look at that, guys. Shall I do something? You can. What do you want to do? Go ahead and do something. Harriet. Nineteen twenty three. What are you going to do? Did you set the bells off? Did you get somebody to do the bells? Come back, Harriet. I'm still here. Judy is still here. That's just them sitting. I was a child. child. You was a child. Was you a child when you passed? You're not suffering anymore, you're not in any more pain. But you're happier with your parents now and with Jesus. When I was a child. Harriet, I'm going to move on now to somewhere else, see if anybody else wants to say anything. You can come with me and follow me. Rich. Was you rich? Was you well to do, Harriet? It's a beautiful church, it's a very old church as you can see, but very dark as well, very, very dark. Anybody want to show themselves? I'm not scared, I wish you no harm. Do you want to show yourself, Harriet? Are you allowed? Will your parents let you?
Anybody else who wants to talk to me? Amina Brown. Yeah. Who else is here? Look at that church the entrance there. It's obviously closed guys. This Catholic church is always closed. Oh now they normally say when something like this is caged over it used to be a witch. But that is there because they used to steal bodies. But how old are you? You don't see these caged that often. Are you in here? And what's your name? Well, I'm losing. I am definitely losing light. Margaret. Margaret. Is that you, Margaret, in here? I can't see. I can't really see what it's saying. And my camera is getting dark and I haven't got no light on my camera. Margaret, where are you? Oh, guys. I've just heard the rattle in the church. That's really interesting. Can you do that again for me, please? Can you knock again? Can anybody hear that? Can you do it again? Yeah, can you knock again? Really loud so I can hear it. Thank you, Margaret. Now guys, while that was happening, the wind sort of started to, the breeze started to come and pick up. Then I heard something like tapping on the inside of the church door. And that's gone now. I understand what you say. Thank you, Margaret. She understands what I say. It says there. We're using the spirit talker now. I'm Julia, Margaret. Obviously no harm. Can you tap for me again, please? Margaret, is this you in, in this grave here? Are you here? Are you the one caged in? They used to have these cages simply because people used to steal bodies. They used to do it a lot in Scotland. They call them man safes. That's what they call them, they caged them in. Because people used to steal bodies and send them back to the doctors to do experiments or on the bodies. And when people thought they buried their, their family to put rest them in peace, doctors used to pay someone to dig the body up again and take it back to the hospital. That used to happen a lot in Scotland. In Scotland there's a lot of man safes, um, which is quite cruel really. A man here. There's a man here. Who's the man? Is it the vicar of the, who was at the entrance? I wish you no harm. You can speak to me. I'm not here to hurt anybody. Were you the one I seen?
Anybody else here? This is my K2. This is the Spirit Talker. If you need to say anything, you can speak through the Spirit Talker. And you can also... Can you feel us? I can feel a breeze and I can feel you here. And I can hear you. That's you letting me know that you're here, isn't it? Do you want me to stay here and speak to you? Do you mind? I came from a dark place. Why did you come from a dark place? What happened? You're the one here, aren't you? You're the one in the man safe. Are you rested or can't you rest? Are you still in that dark place? I worked here. You worked here? What did you do? Did you work in the village? Or did you work for the church? Thumbscrew. Thumbscrew. Can I ask you, what's that? Guys, I've just seen a bat, so sometimes they can come around in different forms. So did you used to do thumb screws? Did you do thumb screws? Yeah. Look at that. Right. I'm speaking to her. Come here. Mm. Are you still here? It's all right. That's Jamie. We're paranormal investigators. You can come back and speak to me. I wish you no harm. Brazen bull. Brazen bull. Okay. You did the rings for the balls. Is that what you mean? Is that you making noise? Because you made it earlier. Can you do that again for me? I'm going to let you go back and let you rest in peace, all of you. Thank you for communicating with me and Jamie tonight as it's getting dark. I don't know because these little roads we go down. I'd like to thank you. Push. Push. The door's locked. You can't push a door what's locked. It's locked. It's locked. I want you to go back and rest. You're not in a dark place. Find Jesus. None of these are. And I'd like to thank the soldier who came forward and spoke to me. And Harriet, the child. I want to thank you so much for communicating. And I want you to rest in peace. And goodbye. Guys, if you like this video, can you like and subscribe? Bye.